it. I'm moving to the new flat. Today is Sunday and we are moving out of our flat on Thursday and we basically have not done anything. If you watched my last vlog, I packed a few suitcases of clothes and took them home. But that's basically all I've done. So we really need to get a move on. We have all day today and then the rest of the week Danny is working. So we only really have the evenings. Except I might come up to the flat myself one of the days if we haven't really got a lot done. But hopefully it will not come to that. Hopefully we'll get most of it done today. We're also not staying at the flat right now. We're both just staying at our family houses because I think it would just be a bit hectic staying here while we're trying to move everything. I am quite sad that we're moving out. I think we're gonna have like a last night here on Wednesday and we're gonna stay over. Um, but that'll be the last time we're here. So it's quite sad, but I'm also excited to move home. I have explained already why we're moving home and stuff, but basically, my boyfriend's buying a flat. We won't be moving into that for quite a while, I don't think, because apparently that takes ages, which I did not realize, and I'm super impatient, but we probably won't be moving into that for a few months, I'm not really sure, but we had already planned on moving out of here around this time, um, just for like various different reasons. We would kind of be at home quite a lot around Christmas anyway, so we didn't really want to have to pay rent and then not really be here. Also, just to kind of save money, I am unemployed right now, which I've mentioned in like every single vlog since like June. Um, but yeah, I'm still unemployed, so I can't really pay rent anymore. It would just be cheaper to live at home. And there are just some issues with this flat, like nothing crazy, it's just like a bit dark and stuff. So we don't really want to stay here around winter. But yeah, I need to stop rambling. I need to get a move on. I think I've said enough. I just don't even really know where to start. I'm also just not gonna sort through anything. I'm just gonna shove everything in boxes and I will sort them all at some point when I'm home because I don't have time to do that right now. I didn't really bring many suitcases or boxes with me, which was kind of silly, but I have this big bag, which I'm going to put the rest of my clothes in. Yeah, I filled this bag and this suitcase I'm very out of breath but I'm gonna have to leave the rest of my clothes for now um, because I don't really have anything else that's like that great to put clothes in so at least I've done those but I definitely have an excessive amount of clothes. current situation I feel like we've got a good bit done but we've kind of ran out of boxes and stuff like that to put everything in so I think we're just gonna fill the car and then come back tomorrow and see how it goes <laughs> Do you want camera? Oh dear <laughs> I'm currently just going through my toiletries box that I never did yesterday, but I got two packages in the mail, so I thought I would show you. Hi, Bones. My camera is about to die, but I ordered two things. I know I should not be buying anything right now, as soon as the part of the reason we're literally moving home is because I can't afford rent, but they're two pretty cheap things, so I let myself off. So the first thing I bought was from World of Books. And I bought the second budgeting book. I read the first one last summer and I really liked it and I kept trying to buy this one but it was really expensive everywhere um, and then eventually they had it on World of Books and it only ended up being about £3.15 I think because um, I found a discount code so 
very excited to read this. I love Bridgerton. And then the next thing I got was from Skin and Me. I'm not sure if you guys will have heard about this. I feel like they have a lot of ads right now. But I was watching... Poland. I was watching somebody the other day and they were using this and I was like, I really, who was I watching? And I was like, oh, I can only try that. Looked it up, it's like 25 pounds. I was like, okay, maybe not. Then the next day I got an ad for it that was only 4 99 So I thought, I have to test it out. So it comes with this Daily Doser. This feels really weird. It says my name on it. Oh my gosh, for Juliet. How do you open this? Okay, I don't want to break this, so I'm not sure how to open that. I'll figure it out. And then also, I got three testers. I got the sun cream. Oh my gosh, look how sunny it is. The sun cream, I cannot see. He's just like ripping all of my jumpers. I also look a bit of a mess this morning. My fringe kind of needs a bit of a wash. Then a moisturizer. I've already done some skincare today, so I might just have to do this tomorrow. And then a hydrating cleanser. So I got all of this for 4 99 but I need to remember to cancel it because I cannot be paying £25. I've been waiting long to do this, but I'll just fall for your influence. Cause girl, you make my shooting stars alive. Hopefully you can hear me right now because it is raining so heavily but I'm not mad about it because it feels very nice and cosy. Today is November the 1st, it's our move out day tomorrow. More importantly, it's basically the start of Christmas so I'm in a really great mood today. But um, yeah, it's move out day tomorrow so we are just on our way up to the flat right now. Danny is in Greg's right now getting us some coffee and we basically have like a couple of things left that we still need to pack and we haven't moved any of the furniture yet and then we need to start cleaning and hopefully we'll get most of the cleaning done today I think I said that we were going to stay at the flat tonight but I'm not 100% sure if we're doing that yet because of parking and like we'd have to pay for parking in the morning as well so we're not 100% sure about that because we do need to come back up tomorrow anyway to, to meet our landlord to give her the keys and also our bedding is like really manky because we've been like clearing stuff away on it so we're not sure if we actually want to sleep on it tonight so we might come back but I'm not 100% sure yet we did go up to the flat last night and pack a lot of things but I didn't film it because I'm really worried that this vlog is very boring and very repetitive and I usually like to edit as I go and I haven't for this vlog yet so I have no idea how it's gonna turn out and I feel like it's gonna turn out quite badly so I'm sorry about that if you're new like viewer then maybe watch another video and don't base whether or not you want to subscribe to me off of this video because I don't think it's very good we also so excited found out our move in for the new flat so I'm going to keep it a secret, don't know why. But yeah, I have a lot to do today, a lot of cleaning, and we obviously have to get our last takeaway in the flat this evening. So I'm excited for that too. So that will be a little reward when we're finished hiding the flat. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I feel like it will. Okay, we just got to the flat and got absolutely soaked from the rain. Um, but I thought I would show you the situation. So this is what the hallway looks like. We've cleared basically all the shoes except those which I was wearing and then the hall still has some things in it that we need to take bathroom is still got a few things and then here's our bedroom still have clothing that I put on a wash yesterday so I need to take that away our bedding if we're not staying tonight and lots of hangers that's our rubbish bag so we still have a few things mirror and then the living room is pretty much done, pretty much done. so done basically minutes. the majority of what we need to do is just cleaning odds and sods isn't it and getting the last of the things it's I can't so be bothered. cold i can't be bothered either but it's like half past four so we've got it's not past four it's three 
was for. Ten that one we were both wrong. So we still have lots of time. But I'm so cold. Me too. There's no point in me. Let's go. Oh, I look terrible. Jesse George has moved. You're so judicious. I don't know what's up. Here is the bedroom, all empty and cleaned. I need to have this on my lap, I think, in the car because it's broken. So I'm hoping my dad can fix it for me. We are going to take some stuff out to the car now. It is 20 to 10 and I'm very tired. So hopefully when we take the stuff out after that, we can go and then we'll come back tomorrow and finish everything. That You can tell in my eyes, I'm so tired. We are just about to leave the flat, so I wanted to give you one last final tour. So here's the hallway, here is the kitchen. We actually couldn't remember if that was ours or not, so we've just left it. The living room, nice and clean. Then we've got the bathroom. I'm hoping she does not mind that her white shower curtain is now bright pink, but I'm sure she won't mind. And then Lastly, our bedroom. The last time we've we'll seen this flat, and I'm actually kind of sad, to be honest. Let's raise the red flags high. Seems I have a little bit of trouble trusting people sometimes. Little by little 